you go away, he's coming. <laughs> So a good portion of the trail has a lot of water on it. So you gotta do a few little crossings. My feet might get a little bit wet and the dogs certainly will. As far as the grade, it's almost nothing. I think the total is like 200 something. So, you know, you have little hills like this and that's it. just so much snow run off. <laughs> of course she goes right down the middle. And the deepest part. The baby got short legs so her tummy's all wet. Come on. There's so many little baby trees growing. So sweet to see. It smells like a Christmas tree farm. Now we're here. We got snow. What snow? Is that fun? Oh, look at there's some bigger prints over there. Dog. Dog prints. No bear. Hopefully we'll keep it that way. from a beach city, so she's used to rolling in the sand, not the snow. <laughs> All right, come on. That works. Thanks, Daddy. There's been a few fallen trees across the path, but nothing that makes it hard to get over. You just step. <laughs> Even she can get over. Good girl. <laughs> wow, it's really eroded up here. I think we're about halfway. Look at that. I don't know if you can get the depth in the camera, but it's probably like in that pool right three there. It's four. yeah, three to four feet. Come on, Shanae. I was just saying that there were some fallen trees, but nothing really big. But we got a whole creek on the path. I think I'm gonna go near the top of the tree where it's thinner. Okay, you try that way. Yeah, because after I get over, I won't be able to get across. This way. Good girl. All right. Well, 
look at him. Might need a little help with her. Oops. She's pulling. Oh. Here. Yes, mountain bikes are allowed on these paths as well as horses and dogs. Just no vehicles. Up here. Unless we go up in the snow. But I don't know if it gets deeper. You're not going to get past that. I was going to go up. Oh yeah, if you're going up on the side. But I don't know if we can get around it. Yeah, I'm thinking left here. <laughs> on the bank into the brush. Okay. Spiders, be careful. <laughs> Just saw one through here. Uh -huh. Okay, you got her. It's not breaking, you're gonna have to grab it. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Nearly fell. Yeah, there's a lot, so careful. You're gonna have to just be really, can you like cover her face? Protect her eyes. We have sunglasses. <laughs> okay, this is fun. <laughs> so Scott's gonna go up ahead and scout it out. It's just such a deep brush right here. I don't think we can, not with a dog. If we're on the other side of this log, it looks like it thins out there. Or if we take that bank. That bank there through the snow through there. But then you gotta go up all that uh, there. Okay, that didn't work out. So going back through this. Where did we go? Right here. You were looking to cross right here. Oh, then you try it, right? That's what we're bypassing. Oh, ah! down to the knees. hole again the snow is deceptive it's crunchy sounds like it's not going to go very far and then and then it's down to the knee Whoop! and she's down again <laughs> you got that Yeah. That's just the first of 20. No. Lake crossing. Woohoo. Check. Now the path is covered with snow. <laughs> this is more than we expected, but it's making for an adventure. The hills are alive. With the sound of music, with songs they have sung for a thousand years, 
The hills fill my heart with the sound of music. My heart wants to sing every song it hears. So the people we just passed, we were telling them about the pond and they told us about the creek. <laughs> like, oh, I thought it was gonna be a little one like we've already done, but that's pretty good size. Oh, look it, there's a bunch of, here. I guess that's the way we're going. rocks there that would probably be yeah. sturdier than yeah, wood. step in between from there to there then you're back and forth you probably better to go here let me walk across first okay. sure do and again i thought oh i won't need poles Taking one for the team, honey. that we have the fur baby, but is that over there any better? like his fourth trip across because he was checking it for safety and how he's going to get across with the baby. Oh my gosh. Thank you, honey. Okay, putting the phone away. Go up, take one more step out. What? One more step on that log you're on. Can I step on the little one? No. Take one more. A little more. A little more. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Now step out. No. Push, yeah, push down on that. One quick step and then across. So, here's the meadow. And as Scott was saying, it used to be uh, an airstrip for Wawona. And it says on the placard that this transition, this transition zone between two ecosystems, like here in the forest and the Wawona Meadow, is called an ecotone. Ecotones like this can be great places to view wildlife because animals common to overlapping environments are often brought together here. Nearly 
50 species of birds use the meadows and surrounding forests for food and nesting sites. Deer, black bear, they like the insects, coyote, which we saw driving up here. Weasel, marten, fox, and bobcat. Gnarly. Wow. Yeah. Once you break it down, it's not so bad. Like, you know, step by step, break it down. You have to go over this log. Yeah, I guess. Just. Yeah. Well, it's soggy up here, too. We can climb over it if you can just help me with her. We could her right in the water. <laughs> we went from mommy carrying you to just letting you take a swim. She's wet. Yeah, that was soggy. Did you climb over? Like up? Oh yeah, it's higher. It's higher up here. Okay. bad way, but it sure sounds pretty. It's so peaceful. way to walk. Well, when you're walking, wait, we got a carrier. Not really my favorite part with a small dog. So, okay, we did it wrong. Right in there's where we were. So instead of going up on the road, you could have come down. found these two chairs <laughs> sitting in the shade. So are we. We're gonna have our lunch. 